the tape should prevent the uh, oil pastel from extending beyond those edges that uh, I've next set Next week, I'm going to shoot for 7 o'clock as well, uh, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, I also have two kids, and they like to destroy stuff as well, but I love them to a completion there. All right, pretty loose start. Now we're we can get develop just a little bit. We're going to go back with the blue in just a minute and kind of smooth out the transition. I typically just like to kind of put layers on top of layers. And in the set. Rather large school district that I, that I work in. And I've spent most of my time teaching teachers and not students. For, uh, another great compliment. I appreciate that. All right, again with the cream here. And, and again, there's lots of different ways that you can approach this. Uh, you can draw things out lightly and then draw around. So again, it can be very loose with your marks. Your viewer's mind is going to put together that that is a flower. You're not going to have to worry about it. Get rid of some of the contrast that happens from the, the paper showing through because that contrast can be distracting. It's really going to uh, create texture. It's going to make it look more like a painting, wine bottle a little bit. So I'm actually going to move the goblet over just a little bit in relation to, to, to make it match up right here. So we're going to kind of follow um, where the wine bottle should be, which is right here. Now, ideally, we would have been to get, well, able to go. Right we can just take some of the cream and kind of go in the areas around it. I'm going to go and ahead so and kind of add the blue around this area. And again, I, since I want the orange to be brilliant and strong, and that sounds really strange, but the orange is really going to pop out. Really create some nice. And you can see I got some blue on there. That's why you need to have your pastels clean. You know, this, these items are sitting on a table, and the table kind of goes down like this underneath the oil pastels here. And to create uh, a little bit of a contrasting color and value with the book, more importantly, prevent me from having to stop and stop the dog from eating carpet. That's quite a pain. All right, uh, to create some of the cast shadow. And if you were doing a painting, you'd probably want to block in shapes. It will start to be. All right, we can come back and touch this up just a little bit. But let's go ahead and define the shapes of the oranges inside. I'm going to use my bright orange for this. Just add a little bit more life to the bowl. Just a little bit here and there. There we go. Just some indication of something there that's a little bit different. That's a good way of thinking about doing the fabric. Just look at your fabric. If it sticks out, anywhere that sticks out, you know, make a little bit of the gray. Again, I'm following the cross contours of the fabric here in the foreground. All right. We'll make the orange just a little a little bit more intense with our original. And then we'll go back and define some of the shaded areas. A lot of contrast going down here, less space of... between the folds. Um, so, again, thanks for joining us tonight, and uh, I hope you'll join us next week as well. Become a member and gain access to over 45 hours of art instruction, including weekly live one-hour lessons and special video courses like the Secrets to Drawing video course, which teaches you the fundamentals of drawing. To become a member, just visit thevirtualinstructor.com forward slash members and subscribe today.